And we thank you for it all. Amen and amen. Come on and bless the Lord God in this place today. Oh, we serve a mighty God. Hallelujah. He allowed us to come in this place and give him glory and magnify him for who he is. If it had not been for the Lord, where would you be? If it had not been for his grace and his mercy, would you even be in this place to bless him and give him glory this morning? He is a mighty God. I encourage you right where you are this morning to trust him in every situation. Every circumstance, trust him. Know that God is God and he's able to do exceeding abundantly about all that you can ask or think according to the power that's working within you. We serve a mighty God. He is worthy to be praised. Amen. We want his glory. Amen. Do you want his glory this morning? So we want this morning.
He pours his wisdom on the inside.
committed and committed to you always. Father, we thank you for who you are. You are a just God. Father, we can count on you in any time, any situation or circumstance. We thank you because you are good. Thank you because you're loyal. Thank you because you're faithful.
Genesis 26, 22 says, and he moved from there and dug another world, another well, and they, they did not pour over it. So he called his name Rehoboth because he said, for now the Lord has made room for us and we shall be fruitful in the land. Psalms 92, 12 through 15 says, the righteous shall flourish like a palm tree. It shall grow like a cedar, like a palm tree. Those who are planted in the house of the Lord shall flourish in the courts of our God. They shall still bear fruit in old age. Yes. They shall be fresh and flourishing to declare that the Lord is upright and he's faithful. He is my rock and there is no unrighteousness in him. And we believe that it shall be what? Fulfilled. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's give God praise. Amen. Isn't God amazing? Come on, we can give God praise. Now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I need to go through some things, but God is still God. Amen. Come on, let's give God praise in this house. We are in the presence of God. God, we love you. Come on, we can't be better than that. Let's give God praise. In this room, God, we thank you and bless you for being God. What a wonderful God you are. What an amazing father you are. We stand in awe of you. I understand that there are so many things that are going on in life and in the world, but our God is still on the throne. Yes, he is. He's still a faithful God. He's still worthy of worship. Yes, and I don't know about you, no matter what, I'm going to continue to give him right of praise. By the way, you want to see my praise increase. Yeah, yeah, because he's just that faithful. Yeah. My God, hallelujah. I don't have to feel good about my situation. Glory to God. To give God praise. That's it. Come on here. Come He's on. He's wonderful. Hallelujah. As a matter of fact, He's the only one that's going to get me through it. He's the only one that has given me victory for me. So I will continue to give a praise. And I don't want you to allow anything, anyone, or any situation to rob you of your praise. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. We have been in this in this season for a while with coronavirus and so much going on with dying and deaths and funerals. And every time I turn around, there's another funeral. There's something else going on. But I'm telling you right now, God is just so so faithful, amazing. The, the one one thing that I've gathered from this whole season for me in my life, it's been making me long for eternity. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know about you, but yes. when you're really saved, there is a That's longing it. to be with God. Yeah. 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 I tell that's not in the room today. I tell you, that's not my job. Uh, yeah. That is not my job. Yeah. Oh, 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 no. no, 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 no. But when you, when you understand That's it. Come on, where you are going and who he is, and, and when your affections have been set on things above. Oh. The more glory to God you see that's going on in this world, it seems like it's supposed to kill the desire for this world and it brings you to a greater desire to be with God. Does anybody else feel like that? See, y'all think about caskets and hers and, and, and they put them in the ground. Y'all ain't like gonna see none of that. That's the body. Y'all are going to have the scary side of the stuff. But when you get over in God, you learn that dying, glory to God in Christ, is a great thing. Yes, it is. Yeah. 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 Oh, yes, it is. I know y'all like this kind of preaching. <laughs> Come on, Pastor. My Lord, my Lord. And if you stick around just a few more days, Come on, my heart. Uh, you may be next. Come on, man. That's it. So it's something that you have to get your mind and your heart ready for. Yes, it is. That's the tomorrow with God. To, to be with Him, to spend eternity with Him is a pleasure. It is a joy. It is a delight. And I don't know about some of you, but when I look around and see the tragedies of this world and look at the condition and the state of this world, it makes you more and more ready to get out of here. Yeah. I don't know if anybody told you maybe, but this is not your home. Come on. Right. That's it. That's it. This is just a pastoral 
place. This is temp. I feel like preaching. On, this is man. temporary. Yes. This yes. is not your home. Come on. Oh, can I go with that for a moment? Oh, yes. Come on, oh this Come husband and wife. That's not going to be your wife before right. long. That's not right. going to be your husband before long. Right. Hallelujah. Yes. There, was, there was a change that is coming. Yeah. There was a new order and a new way. This is not eternity. Right. All of this shall fade away. Yes, it will. Those light wheels you have, that will come to an end one day. (laughs) Going to your little job and clocking in and getting your little paycheck at the end of the week that you're disappointed in. That's going to fade away before that. Kids getting on your nerves. Some of y'all start shouting right there. That's going to (laughs) fade in just a little while. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. This is all temporary. We should be longing for eternity. Right. Yes, God. We should be getting ready right. for eternity with God. Yes, Lord. We should be preparing for that great day. Yeah, I looked around and I noticed that Christmases aren't the same. Yeah. A lot of people that used to sit at the table, they're no longer there. Yeah, yeah. Grandmothers and grandfathers, uncles and relatives. Mothers and fathers that used to be mm. present with us are now gone. Yes. Everybody's getting ready for that great night. Yeah. yeah. Come on. Woo. Yeah. Lord. Yeah. Everything is shifting. Can you not feel the shift? Yes. Yeah. Come on, Pastor. Yeah. Oh yeah. It seems like all the stuff that you used to take joy in, right. it's like it's losing. Yes. 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 That's real. Yes. Yes. Can you not see that something oh, yeah. is changing? God is getting us ready. Yes, He is. For that great day. Ooh, yes, he is. I have to preach. But I just want you to understand. Glory to God. Don't get too comfortable here. Uh, it's amazing when I look around and I see everybody in this rat race of life. Yeah, 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 yeah. Everybody just ripping and running, trying to get every yeah. personal desire fulfilled and, and running after the world, not knowing that eventually, glory to God, the world will flee. Yeah, come on. My Lord, Ooh, your time. The end of all things is coming sooner than you think. The day of salvation is closer than when you first did. My, 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 my. I notice everybody's getting old during the times. The days are changing. Yeah. The times are more wicked. Yeah. The days are more evil. Old people would used to say, get your house in order. Yep, yeah, yeah, yeah. Then the old people would used to they would used to say something like, get my church. Yeah, come on. Let's go. I know that sounds old fashioned. Come on, Pastor. Jesus. We're quickly headed that direction. Yes, we are. And I don't know about you, but I'm excited. I can't yes. wait. Come on. Jeez. This is not home. Do what you must while you're here. Yes, Lord. Make the most of your hours, your minutes, and your days. Let them count for God. Live your life for God. I don't care if you're old. There are people that are young that are dying even sooner than even their parents. Children are beating their mothers and fathers to the grave. Young people, don't think that just because you're young that you still have time. That's right. The only time that you have is right now. That's it. That's it. Live your lives as though it's your last. Yes. Yes. Get right, church. Get ready. Right. Get so we're here in the presence of the Lord. I'm hearing the Lord giving me something that is so amazing and anointed for this hour. And I'm so blessed that God has counted me worthy. Jesus. As little as I am, that God would count me worthy to release this word to his people. I'm so honored to be able to stand it here before you this morning. And I will not be before you long, but I want to release what the Lord has blessed in my spirit. And I pray for those of you who are in this place and those that are watching that have joined us this morning on Facebook, YouTube. God bless you. Thank you for tuning in and for joining us in this amazing worship service. Thank you, Grace Team, for singing your hearts out before the Lord. For those of you that decided to join us in person, thank you. And for the members that are not here that are watching, we want you to know that we love you and we miss you. Thank you so much for joining us this morning.
If you have your Bibles, I want you to turn with me to Jeremiah chapter 6. I haven't seen some of you in about two weeks. It's so good to see your faces. I've missed you all, and now it's time to get back to work. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Jeremiah chapter 6. I'm going to start reading at verse 10. Jeremiah chapter 6. Hallelujah. Jeremiah chapter 6. I'm going to start by reading in verse 10. And those of you that are watching online, if you cannot hear, just text, I cannot hear, and they will give me a signal. And I will try to talk loud. Jeremiah chapter 6. So beautiful to know that we have an audience and a wonderful group of people that are watching that took time to join us this morning online. We treasure you and we honor and thank the Lord for you. Yes, Jeremiah chapter 6. Wow. I'm going to start reading at verse 10. Jeremiah 6. And I believe that I'm speaking to a mature church this morning. Amen. Amen. People who have an ear to hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. If you don't mind this morning, I'm going to read from the Amplified Version of this particular text. Starting at verse 10, the Bible says, To whom shall I, Jeremiah, speak and give warning that they may hear? Behold, their ears are uncircumcised. Never brought into covenant with God or consecrated to his service. And they cannot hear or obey. Oh, that's scary. Yes. Yes, indeed. Behold, the word of the Lord has become to them a reproach and the object of their scorn. They have no delight in it. Therefore, I, this is Jeremiah speaking, am full of the wrath of the Lord. I am weary of restraining it. I will pour it out on the children in the streets and on the gathering of young men together. For even the husband with the wife will be taken, the aged with the very old, and their houses will be turned over to others their fields and their wives together. For I will stretch out my hand against the inhabitants of the land, says the Lord. Listen to this. For from the least of them, even to the greatest of them, everyone is given to covetousness, to greed for unjust gain. And from the prophets, even to the priest, everyone deals falsely. They, they have healed also the wound of the daughter of my people lightly and neglectfully, saying, Peace, peace, when there is no peace. Were they brought to shame because they had committed abominations, extremely disgusting and vile things? No. They were not at all ashamed, nor could they blush. Hmm. Therefore, they shall fall among those who fall. At the time that I punish them, they shall be overthrown, says the Lord. Thus says the Lord, stand by the roads and ask, and ask for the eternal paths where the good old way is. Then walk in it, and you will find rest for your souls. It's just that simple. But they say, we will not walk. My God. My God. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Also, I sent watchmen over you, saying, Hear and obey the sound of the trumpet. But they said, We will not listen My God. or obey. Mm -hmm. First subject this morning, I want to simply speak from this. 
I have a good question for those that are watching and those that are here. I have a question for you. What's wrong with God? Mm. <laughs> oh, wow. I have a question for those that are watching. What's wrong with God? Mm. Mm -hmm. I know that sounds scary for a question like that to be asked, but it's very important in this moment to ask the question for those that are watching and those that are here. What's wrong with God? Now, depending on how you say it, mm, yes. I understand why there's not a lot of amens. Come on, Pastor. Because it right. sounds like I'm insinuating there is something flawed with God. Oh, right, 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 right. That some of you are watching trying to figure out where is he going with this. Right, right. <laughs> Help today. <laughs> what in the world is wrong with God? The question is asked because as I look around at the church and even at the world, it seems that everybody seems to be running wild and crazy and away from God. Right? right. Yeah. It seems that, glory to God, the Lord isn't being honored in the way the Bible prescribes him to be honored, in a way that is pleasing unto him. Yeah. It's amazing that his name is being misused and, and it seems that he's highly offensive to so many people. Wow. I want to know what's wrong with God. Wow. It's wow. amazing because people, glory to God, they will pick and choose what parts of God they like and yeah. what parts they don't. So the question is asked today, what in the world is wrong with God? Right. What could possibly be wrong with God that people would take his, his word and they would reinterpret it and they would read falsely into it and change it? And, and what is so wrong with God that there are so many people that are gathering in churches but don't live like he says we should be living? Uh, uh, my, 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 my. Can somebody please tell me what's wrong with God? That glory to God that they will read the word and know what the word says and speak in tongues but not live based on what he has prescribed in the word to live. They can go and curse and be mean and be ugly and, and, and be hypocritical and abuse each other and not love each other. Can somebody please tell me what's wrong with God? Misusing his name, putting his name on things that he has not even endorsed. Right, right. Changing his word to fit their lives instead of changing their lives to fit his word. Can somebody tell me what is flawed or fallacy about God that so many people, glory to God, would gather in his name but not live in the honor and respect of his name? Right. Can somebody tell me what's oh, wrong with God? God help us. Come on. Woo! Ah, it, it's a very scary thing because I, I'm very and I'm nervous at what I see because I want to know what's going on even with the church that now people are more are more hallelujah anxious and concerned about living for their own personal desires than they are for the will of God. People are more excited about getting their desires fulfilled than they are, glory to God, doing what pleases the heart of God. What's wrong yeah. with God? Come on, Say that. Come on. People will, glory to God, hallelujah, will, will run away from the truth of God just to get the man they want or to get the woman they want, and they will neglect the prescribed word of God that is given to safeguard their lives, to keep them out of error. They'll walk away from everything that God has prescribed in truth and life just to follow after flesh and blood. Can somebody tell me what's wrong with God? Jesus. I had to find a woman that cute that will make me turn away from God. Come on, man. Come on. And I found a man so fine, glory to God, hallelujah, that anybody should turn away from God. That's right. I don't understand it. I don't care if he looks like glory out of chisel, Greek God. At the end of the day, if it's not of the Lord, it's not worth me giving my life, hallelujah, for and forsaking the truth of God. Can you tell me what's wrong with God? There are people that want a house more than they want God. Oh, it doesn't mean that they don't want some parts of God, but, but, but they don't mind God to be powerful. They like his power. They don't mind 
mind God giving them something. They don't mind. They like God's abilities. In right. the church, they love when God shows a demonstration that he's God. They love that, but it's something about God that they, many people just don't like. Come on. Right. Come Be on. real today. Come on. Be real today. Come on, Pastor. Oh, oh, Just walk with me. Hallelujah. Because it's interesting that as long as God is doing what you yeah. like and making your life comfortable, you don't mind, hallelujah, praising Him. But the moment God takes you on a detour and things in your life are not going the way that you want them to go, your commitment level changes. Can you please tell me what's wrong with God? That's good, right? Come on. Come on. Say something. Come on, Can somebody tell me what is the error in God? Right. These people are, are living their lives and, and, and God is telling them what is about to take place and he's giving them warning and he sent the prophet Jeremiah to give them the, these warnings of what is to come and God is giving them his instruction but, but even when Jeremiah is giving them what God prescribes, they say we hear you but we will not do what you say. What makes one just go backwards from the way of God when he's giving you the path of truth? What makes you get off course and go on a whole other path and live in that path and be comfortable living far from God? Jesus. Jesus. It's a dangerous thing for you not to see how far you are away from That's God. it. Yes, indeed. I'll say it again. It's a very dangerous and scary thing for you not to see how far away from God you are. Yes. Yes. I was talking to somebody not long ago and all they talked about was money. Yeah. Talked about their houses and talked about their stuff and talked about their things. Not one time not. did God fall on their lips. Mm. But yet they serve on an auxiliary at their church. Everything that came out of this person's mouth was dollars and money and, and how the white man and its system is designed to tear down the black man. That's why the white have all the money and the blacks have nothing and blah, 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 blah. And granted, there was a part of that we understand a systemic racism. We understand that, but that's some broke white people too. Come on, man. Yeah. Help somebody. Come on. <laughs> I hate Say to that. that news. That's just white people <laughs> Struggling Hispanics? Yes. Come yes, on. I do understand there is a system in place. Yes, I'm not naive to that. But I'm just saying, we're spending this whole time, time right. and nowhere just trying to find a way to yeah. undo the system so that they can be well developed. And, and I was trying to find a spot to interject because I wanted to stop and say, but don't you know that, that Hollywood, this world as you know it, will, will fade away. And if you were truly crucified to this world, oh. and this world was crucified to you, hallelujah, that would not be the most major thing on your heart and your life. Because if anything, you would be after the heart of God and let God deal with all the other stuff. The problem is, is that when you are after wealth and money and greedy and covetousness is serving your heart, then that's the only thing you think about. That's it. That's it. Say that. Not carrying the ways of God. Not caring about the ways of God. And that's exactly how the children of Israel were. Hallelujah. God was letting them know. Hallelujah. That you're saying peace, peace, but there is no peace. Even the prophets are defiled. The preachers are defiled. The, the apostles are defiled. He's saying, hallelujah. Everybody has moved to a place of defilement and living and doing their own way. Hallelujah. But the judgment is about to come and take place. So sound the alarm. My God. Then he said, go and I need you to ask. Ask for the old ways. Find the old way of God. Because when you get off course, somebody needs to point you right. back to the way of God. So that you can still be ready for the return of Christ. Hallelujah. And he sent him. But when he sent them, they said, we hear it, but we still won't walk. Oh my God. Woo. Jesus. We don't care nothing about being God in this way. Walking in his way. His way is not bringing me pleasure. His way is not fulfilling the desires of my heart and what I want. My Lord. I don't care about all that God stuff. I don't care about that holiness. I don't care about all of that mess. I just want my will to be accomplished. I just need him when I snap my fingers to do everything that I command. Right. Come on, Pastor. That's it. Right there. Right there. My Lord. Can you tell me what's wrong with God? Come on, Pastor. 
Jesus. Uh, Jesus. What's wrong with God? Hmm. What's wrong with God? And all I can think about is that, hallelujah, if God being is so good, because some of you would probably insinuate or think, hallelujah, that, that I'm talking about anything or something that's wrong in God, and that's not it at all. As a matter of fact, it's the country. Right. Yeah. It's the fact that he is so, so good. Come on. Yeah. Woo, come on. Yes. That he is so powerful. Yes. Yes. That he is so holy and so mighty. What is it in you that's causing you no. not to submit that's yourself it. totally unto him and give your whole life to him and trust in him and believe in his word? What is it? What is it that could be so wrong with God that you see? Not to say that there is something wrong with God, but in your eyes, what is causing you not to give your whole life unto Him and live according to His word? That's God good. Normally, when something is good, Brother Derek, you are drawn to it. That's right. Normally, when something like preaching, when something is good, you are drawn to it, and you want to have your feel of it over and over and over yeah. again. Yeah. Yeah. Oh God, I went to Cheddar's the other day, and I got the fish. I never had the fish before, Sister Keisha, and the fish was so good. I forgot about glory to God. Hallelujah! My stomach started to pop, and I, I kept eating, and I kept eating, and I kept eating, and I kept eating because it was so good and it was so pleasing that I couldn't get enough of it. And if God is so good, and if you have tasted and seen that he is so good, why is it that you're not eating of his presence every day? Why are you not eating of his word every day? Why don't you find it a joy to deny yourself to walk in his way? Why is it that you don't find a pleasure in beating your will and putting your will down to something to his will? Have you lost your appetite? Have you lost your appetite? Jesus. That's good. That's a good question. Come on. What's wrong with him? When you look at people and they are on the fence and they're scratching their heads, you ask them the question, what's wrong with you, sweetie? Why is there a dilemma or an issue enrolling the whole of your life? On the life of God. Something is good. There is such an amazing delight for it. That nobody has to tell you to do it. Uh, Because it will consume all of your mind and time. To the point that you're finding so much pleasure in it. Hallelujah. That you don't mind doing it. And you do it. Hallelujah. From a place of rest. So it is with. God. Yes. Mm-hmm. That's right. Yes. Nobody has to drag you to church when you're in love with God. Right. 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 church again. <laughs> right. Uh-uh. right. How long is he going to be this time? Right. right. Come on, Pastor. Wrong My right. son is just Come on, Jesus. Come on. Wow. Mm-hmm. Come on, Pastor. I'm tired from work. I've been working all week. Come on, Pastor. I can't get up and pray at 6 a.m. It's too early. I don't even know how it is. But he's good. Yes, he is. But you want him to love God. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Come on. Then when he does give you a word, you pick and choose which one you want to obey. I'll obey it today because I feel good. Come on. Yeah, yeah. But uh, I don't feel good today. And that word is challenging me, so today I'm going to put it down because God don't understand. This person is coming against my flesh. My God. Come on. My God. Come on, Pastor. Speak, Lord. Speak. Speak. Can somebody tell me what's wrong with them? What's wrong with that? What is wrong with this great God that created the universe? Yes, he did. Even right now, that's causing the breath, yes. hallelujah, to flow in your life. What is wrong with this God that's causing Jesus. your heart to be Jesus. on time right now? Yes. While you're sitting here in this moment, he's holding your body in place, keeping everything Jesus. functioning yes. in its proper order so that death will not seize you at this moment. What's wrong with him? Why do many struggle to commit themselves to someone who is so good? Jesus. What's wrong with him? Why does he have to come 
come down right now and fill this place with glory and smoke and you see his form and he'll hold you. Watch this for maybe about one year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If that long. That's why many people can't tell me, oh, if God would just show me a powerful yeah. sign, that would be enough for me to believe in him really. Really? Come on. Right. Come on. Come on, Pastor. Right, Pastor. Come on here. Mm. <laughs> My God. Right. What's wrong with God that people try to dissect him yeah. and recreate him, making him right, right, right. this godly Frankenstein of many parts and pieces <laughs> put together by their own imagination to create this, this new image of God that they can serve out of their own minds right. when he isn't the God of the Bible? Yeah, yeah. Recreate it. <laughs> What's wrong with God? I found out something. Come on, Pastor. And I'm going to show you in scripture. Today. This us. is what happens. Help us today. We're living in the last days. Yes. Second Timothy mm. chapter 3. I'm almost done. <laughs> Turn it down. I want you to see. Let me show you what has happened. Oh God. Oh God. Second Timothy, please mark these scriptures. Mm. Read them. Hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. Second oh Timothy. Chapter 3. What has happened? What is wrong with God? Second mm -hmm. Timothy. Second Timothy. Go all the way over to chapter 3. Help us with this one. Mm -hmm. Let me read from the NIV for just a moment. Starting with verse 1. Second Timothy chapter 3, verse 1. And the Bible says, but mark this. Yeah. Pay attention. Mm -hmm. There will be terrible times in the last days. Yeah. Yeah. People will be lovers of themselves. Yes. I need y'all to hear this. People yeah. will be lovers of themselves. Yes. Mm -hmm. Lovers of themselves. Oh my God. My so God. what you will see in the last days you will see that people will be lovers of themselves only. Uh, they will also be lovers of money. Oh, I love money. I love God. But mm -hmm. money controls everything about your life. Yes. Come on, Pastor. That's right. It governs every part of you. Money, 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 money. Yeah. Money. Yeah. Money. If I don't have money, my attitude is bad. If we don't have money, we need to get a divorce. We don't have enough money, we're not happy. Right. Can I go against what the faith, hallelujah, what, what, what the little a false faith, faith preachers that are teaching? Come on, yeah. Come on Pastor. <laughs> there will be some times in life yes. that you will be broke. Yes. <laughs> yes. There will be some times in life when you will not have, hallelujah, a whole lot of money in your pockets. Right. Yeah. Hallelujah. Oh, we got to be real with this. Be real. Here. All these little fake lines and coming up and sowing your thousand dollar seed and two thousand dollar seed. The devil is a liar. No, 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 no. There will be times in life where you may struggle. Right. But the good news is, is that I can do all things through uh -huh. Christ who strengthens me. Yeah, yeah. That is the blessedness of knowing who Christ is and having a relationship with the Lord, with the Father. It does not matter if we have money or not. That does not dictate my life. That's right. Sometimes you will have more than enough. Right. Sometimes you may have just enough. Right. Sometimes yeah. you may not have enough. Right. But God will always supply yeah. everything that you yeah. have yeah. enough according to his riches and glory. Yeah. So you have to understand that money cannot, or the love of money cannot be, hallelujah, the root of your life. That's it. That's it. Are you with me? Yes, indeed. That's it. Come on, Pastor. Yes. As we live in this time and this day, hallelujah, lovers of money, people will do anything for money. People will have their, their husbands and wives killed to get insurance yeah. for the money. Yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. yeah. That's why I get nervous, boy. When you start trying to up their policy to $300,000, $400,000, I'm trying to figure out what you're doing because it don't cost that much to marry you. We got an issue now. You want a five hundred thousand dollars? We got an issue, Pastor. Glory to God. You can get ten thousand. You should be fine. Right, right, right. That's right. That's we got it. Just a side note for those in here that have life yeah. insurance and your wife want to up the policy. Yeah. Come on, come on. Million dollars. Say that. Come on. We better go check and some stuff. 
when we must deal with these things because yeah. this love of money is ruining hallelujah even the church there is so much pollution yeah. from the love of money and the reason why I talk about it because it is a reality yes, it is. and people begin to see this yes, in people as times go on and go by as we're in the last days people will be lovers of yes. money they will be boastful they will be proud oh my gosh they will be abusive. They will be disobedient to their parents. They will be ungrateful. Yeah, mm. yeah. They will be unholy. Yeah. They will be without love. They will be unforgiving. Yeah. They will be slanderous. They will be without self-control, brutal, not lovers of the good, treacherous, rash, conceited, here is one I want you to grab a hold of. Lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of God. Mama, mama, mama. Come on. Mama, 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 mama. Come on. Mm -hmm. This one is not talking about color. Look at this money. Yeah, right. Pleasure. Yeah. 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 Come on and deal with it. Uh, I do anything to go against this situation because if it doesn't bring me pleasure, then I will disobey God because I'm after pleasure. Mama. I'm uncomfortable. I don't like this. So I got to do this. I will go astray and go contrary to the word of the Lord and what pleases God for the name and purpose of pleasure. Talk to somebody today. Uh, Y'all better hear me. Help somebody today. This is what you will see in the last days. This is what you will see. And really, this, this is apostasy. Yes, it is. It is a falling or turning away from the faith. It doesn't mean that they will stop going to church. Right. It just simply means that there will be no real trust or faith in God. It's apostasy. It is even now. It's crept in the church and you see it now. Yeah. Churches are flooded. But you can see every one of these operating in the lives of people. Right. Now. Yes, you can. Oh, yes. Oh, so now I can see then why so many would have a problem with God. Right. Saints, you gotta watch yourself. You gotta be on guard against this right. from right. creeping into your own yes. heart. Yes, that's right. You gotta get down to the heart of the matter. You gotta watch your life carefully against these things. You gotta look at yourself and say, wait a minute, am I so caught up in pleasure that I'm not caught up, hallelujah, in loving God? Wow. You gotta watch yourself. Am I boastful? Yeah. Yeah. Am I greedy for money, covetousness? Yeah. Am I caught up in a place, hallelujah, that I'm just I'm just so proud? Wow. Disobedience. Yeah. Am I ungrateful? Are these things have these things crept in my heart? See, it's one thing for you to come to church and shout, yeah. but you gotta put in some work, saints. Yes. You gotta yeah. watch your heart and your life carefully and guard against these things. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Mm. Mm. I gotta go there because mm. this is so true. Come on, Pastor. Help us. At one season I was watching preachers and they were changing these wives, but I noticed all the wives were looking alike. <laughs> yeah. They all had real white skin and long hair. Yeah. I'm looking. And they didn't wear their wives and saying, okay, God said this is my new wife. Yeah. Yeah. And she would become the first lady. Yeah. But they all kind of looked like it was almost like a trend, like yeah. the, new, the latest Jordans that just came out. Mm. Oh. Everybody had a pair. Wow. Wow. And I'm like, what's going on? Wow. And it hit me as everybody started looking at what the other preacher had. Yeah. The lifestyle of the other preacher. Yeah. What his wife looked like. Yeah. Now I gotta get a trophy looking like because my wife yeah. is a little older or she's too dark or she doesn't look like this. And so the preachers, uh, that preacher got a bit I need to get a bit of the doc. Right. He, he's rolling in the bins. I gotta give me a bins, Doc. Right. Oh, he's building a new church. I gotta build a bigger church. And I'm looking at what in the world is going on. Mm. Well, what happens is, as you get off from God, right. and your eyes are taken from Come God, on. and you start to look at the world That's and it. what everybody else has, That's and you'll look at your eyes and be like, you're not as cute as you were last year. <laughs> <laughs> right. Wow, wow, wow. When your eyes turn away from God, it moves you in a very dangerous place. So now this will explain why 
why, why, why so many people would get offended at God, and why so many people would start to change God. For some reason, people have changed God so much that they think He endorses their cursing. Right, right. God is not endorsing yeah. cursing yeah. coming from your mouth and the hatefulness that come from your lips. Oh, God is God. He understands. Right. He, he made my lips. I'm cursing. He knew I was going to curse before I even said it. Because He says in Psalms 139 that He knows it before it even comes out of my mouth. He knows it. And twisting it, changing yeah. God, making God yeah. to be something that He is no. not. And I kind of love the reason why most people are doing this is because of this one thing. Many people have a problem with the holiness of God. That's it. Can I That's teach you almost done? I Jesus. promise I'm almost done. Many people have a problem with the holiness of God. Yes. Hallelujah. Because he is holy. And let me tell you something. I don't care if you get a new iPhone 12, 26, 32. God is not going to change with the times. I'm That's sorry. Right. He will forever. He will forever be holy and pure. I gotta say it again. He was holy in the beginning. He'll be holy in the end. And many people, they are offended at the holiness. That's it. Woo. That's it. So now I have to change him because glory to God. Hallelujah. If I go off of what his word says, hallelujah, and he's holy, and since this part of me is unholy, then I have an issue with God. So let me God to accept this part of my corrupt nature. That's it. That's right. God, I need you to accept this corrupt part of me. God, I'm a cheater and I'm a liar, and I need you to accept this corruption. My, 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 my. What does it mean when you say that God is holy? That means it means that He is set apart. It means that he is exalted, that he's set apart and high, hallelujah, and above all of creation, every created thing. He's in a class all by himself. It means in him there is no darkness. God is light and in him there is no darkness at all. There is no flaw in God. There is no mistake in God. He is so high and so pure, hallelujah, that he's set apart from all sin. There is no sin in God. He is perfect and altogether lovely. Yeah. He cannot find not one flaw in the presence of God. Yeah. Not one. Yeah. Woo, right. my God. Uh -huh. Come on. First Peter 1, Come on. 15 and 16. It lets us know that we should be holy as he is That's holy. It. Right. it says, for the one who called you is holy. Yes. So be ye holy as I am. This is the area that many people have a problem with God concerning, and that is His holiness, because many people don't mind Him exhorting His power. They, they, don't, they don't have a problem with God's abilities. They don't have a problem with God performing miracles. Right. But right. they have a problem right. with His holiness. Yes, that's right. Because in order to appreciate His holiness, you have to be holy. That's right. That's uh, it. That's good. That's it. Tell me with this. Yes. Right. Come on. In order to appreciate his holiness and, and, and to understand his holiness, hallelujah, it requires you being holy yourself. That's right. Come on. That's good right there. Come on and take Some people would say, I have an issue with this thing of holiness because now I don't know what I can do. And when most people hear the word holy, the first thing they start thinking about is all the stuff they can't do. Right. Right, right. Oh, okay, help somebody. Holy. Help somebody. If I'm holy, can I dance like this? Help somebody. If I'm holy, can I, can I say this? <laughs> right. If I'm holy, am I supposed to? Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. Teach, Pastor. Come on. When you're holy, there is a oneness with God. Yes, yes. yes. Because when He comes into you by the Holy Spirit, yes. and His Spirit lives in you, He mm -hmm. makes you holy. Yes, He does. And even if there is something that you are doing in error, yeah. there is a conviction of yes. the Holy Spirit yes. on the inside of you that yes. lets you know that the way that you're moving yes. is contrary. Yes. And because you are holy, yes. there is a willingness and a desire to light it up with God. Yes. That's why those who are holy, you can say, I'm trapped too Come long. On. Because there is a conviction of the Holy Spirit to light you back up with the truth of His Word. And His Spirit lives on the inside of you. And you cannot stay separate from the Lord. Because you and God are both holy. Because whatever God touches, He makes holy. Yes, He does. Thank you. 
everybody around you in your own circle will be looking at you and say, how come you don't talk the same? How come you don't act the same? How come you don't do like you used to do? And you don't laugh at them dirty jokes I used to tell. You used to crack up. It's because now I've been made holy. There is a new nature in me. There was a new desire, there was a new passion in me. Yes, it is. Yes, right. Some people try to fake that, Sister Sean. They try to come up with this with this church version of holiness. Yeah. Hallelujah. Based on denominationalism. Right. Hallelujah. Because you go to this church for holy. Let me tell you something. A denomination cannot make you holy. That's it. That's it. No, it don't. Woo. Right. You got to say That's something today. <laughs> so you see the old sins. Yeah. People start to turn it off. And you show your beliefs. They yes. move from the God of the Bible because it becomes a little mm-hmm. Hallelujah. Jesus. But I see why now. That's good. Because if apostasy Ooh. is sitting in, yes. and you start to see this turning away, yeah. and people are now loving themselves yeah. more than being lovers of God. Yeah. If they're loving more of their pleasures than they are God. Yeah. If they're loving money, if they're loving money more than God, if they're caught up in, in being boastful and proud more than God, then that will explain then why hmm. right. they will uh-huh. think that something is wrong with God. Yep. I need you, church, to be on guard. Come on. Huh. Help us, Lord. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need you to be watchful. Oh, my God. Come on. Yes, come I'm God. God, but I need you to be watchful. Mm-hmm. In these last days, yes. you keep your life guarded. Yes. Come on, Pastor. We have I stay to closely connected to Ooh. the Father. Oh, yeah. There is nothing wrong with God. He's the only one that can give rest to your soul. <laughs> yes. Only one. He's the only one that can make you sound and whole. He's the only one that can give you the victory. He's the only one that can give you eternal salvation. Jesus. He's the only one that can give you peace and rest on the inside. He's the only one that can make you righteous. Only. And if the only thing you think he's needed for is to pay your bills and to give you everything your heart's desire naturally, hallelujah, that is a false There is more to God yes. than him being your magician. Come on. Yes. Giving you what you want at the snap of your fingers. Ooh, Jesus. Ooh. God is God enough to save and yes. use your soul. God. He's God enough to repair the brokenness on the inside of you. Mm-hmm. He wants to be more than just someone that you summon in your time of need. When you're really in love with God, you recognize that I need you every morning, every day, yes. every second. You yes. are always on my mind. I'm yes. constantly longing and craving your presence. I need your love. Let me tell you something. Nobody can love you like God. You can talk about the love from your wife. That's good. And your husband, that's good. But there is no love like the love of God that warms your heart and satisfies you and gives you a sense of being. No love like you. This love of the Father. His love is perfect. He can love you out of every hole that you got yourself into. Every man that broke your heart. Every child that broke your heart. Every woman that broke your heart. The love of God can heal every wound. Every broken place in you. The love of God. Can heal and make you whole. So what's wrong with God? Why would you run away? Why would you have serve him? Come on. Why would you just go to church and when you leave outside, live like you don't even know him? Jesus. What is wrong with God? Yes. Come on. My God. Nothing. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Nothing. He is all together. Yes, he is. Woo. Yes, he is. Yes, My he Lord. Is. Woo. God, oh God. Yes, he is. All together, love. Perfect. He's so perfect. Yes, he is. Then First Peter, <laughs> chapter one, five. Mm-hmm. My God. He talks about those of us that are in faith. Mm-hmm. How he is able to keep us mm-hmm. by his power. Yes, yes, yes. 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 Until the day of salvation. Yes, Lord. That's right. That's right. In the last time. Keep you, Lord. Keep you, keep you, keep you. 
My God. Yeah. See, what you don't understand in this room mm, mm, mm. is that you have been kept by him. Come on. Oh, yeah. You better say it. What you don't understand yeah. is that you have been shielded yeah. by this yeah. power. Yeah. Even in your lowly state. Yeah. There is someone that's been keeping you invisibly that you cannot see. You have been kept by his power. Those who are in the faith, God will not let you, hallelujah, be plucked out of his hands. And what you don't understand, every time you went through the storm and wanted to give up, God kept you by his power so that nothing would take you out, so that you can stay in the race. And you need to tell me, somebody has enough nerve to think that there is something wrong with God. You have been shielded. Yes. You have been guarded. You have been protected yes. by yes. His power. Yes. Come on. It's not your own. Yeah. Remember that time when you thought you would give up. Remember that time when it was too hard. Remember that time when it was too rough. Remember that time when so much was coming against you. Yes. You couldn't even think straight. But somehow you were still able to stay the course yes. and give God praise yes. and keep pressing.
stand in this place. Oh, God. We will not have served you, Lord. You can have all of us. Oh, yes. You can have all of us. You can have all of us. Yes, God. Take all of us. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Have your way, Jesus. Yes, God. Have your holy way, 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 God. Yes, Father. God will not disappoint you. Jesus. There is no sliding in God. He is sure. Yes, He is. He is solid. Yes, He is. There is no failure in you. None. Have your way, Jesus. Glory be unto your name. He's real. Oh, yes. Yes, he is. As we worship the name of the Lord. Jesus. My prayer this morning is that we leave this place.
Surely you are the great physician. You heal us with this. Everything that we need, Father, you are. You are truly our deliverer. You are our vindicator. Everything God we need for. And we love you for who you are. We bless your name. We thank you for this moment. And we leave this place with a greater devotion and service unto you. And a greater commitment to live for you and love you. We thank you and honor you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 May God bless you and keep you with my prayer. I love you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, God. Amen. Amen.